Maybe you're new to EVE and you're a little overwhelmed by all the different ships. Maybe you've been playing a while and are just looking for something new. Let's take a quick look at the many ship options that make the EVE universe so robust. A wealth of information can be found in the ship browser, so let's open that first. On the Neocom, the menu on the left of the screen, click the icon in the square. Here's where it's easy to get overwhelmed. On the top left, you see all the different factions, starting with the four base factions, followed by NPC and pirate factions. We'll come back to those because they're a combination of two of the main factions. So what should you train into? Honestly, all of them eventually. What makes EVE so incredible is that your pilot can fly any ship, shoot any gun. Amar beam lasers one day, Galenti drone boats the next. So as you make your training decisions, keep in mind that your path is temporary and in time you'll be able to use them all. So let's decide on the first ship we want. And in order to do that, we need to know which faction specializes in what. The Amar Empire wins the award for shiniest boats and also most memed ships. Their weapon of choice are lasers, which are awesome because they use frequency crystals, which can be switched instantly and never run out of ammo. Close range will use pulse lasers, long range will use beam lasers, and the crystals, like most ammo, further affect optimal range as well as capacitor need. That comes into play as you learn more about your ship's powertrain, but for now, pew pew lasers! Amar also use drones, and I'm trying not to be biased here, but drones are great. In a nutshell, you deploy them and yell, kill my minions, and they go do their own thing. This is nice because the enemy has to deal with each drone individually to cut down your DPS, but once they do, a drone boat is completely defanged. For defense, the Amar prefer armor over speed, so your ships won't be whipping around the grid quite as fast as other boats, but using armor hardeners and reppers is how you'll stay alive. Armor tank mods go in the low slots, which eat up space you could use for damage mods, but trust me, it all evens out. For electronic warfare, the Amar specialize in cap draining and tracking disruption. Now, cap draining through neutralizers and Nosferatus are all over the game, but Amar gets some crazy bonuses to them. If nuding boats until they're dead in the water sounds good to you, Amar is your best option. Tracking disruption is much less used, but only because it requires more knowledge of what you're doing. Without giving a separate lecture, they make the enemy's guns track very slowly so they have trouble hitting you as you fly around them. They can turn a shark of a ship into a smallmouth bass? Did I also mention how cool they look? To sum up, lasers have infinite ammo but use more cap. Armor tanking grants a big booty, but you're gonna move slower. Cap destabilization and tracking disruption, and depending on the ship, super sexy drones. Bonus points for style and flavor. The Kaldari are the most military looking ships, utilizing that sort of navy fleet color and design. Their ships are named after birds, and they love shooting rockets. Ignoring how missiles would work in space, if you're looking for visual and audible fire and fury, Kaldari is your faction. What's interesting about missiles is that as long as you're within range, they always hit. Missiles have a max velocity and flight time, which gives them a maximum range, and if your target is within that range, you'll hit them. There are mitigating factors like explosion radius and velocity, but you can learn to alter those as you move forward. Some Kaldari ships also use hybrid turrets, the Galente weapon of choice. For defense, shields are the name of the game. They take up mid slots, so juggling your tank and tackle can be a learning experience, but shields regen on their own, and if you build a passive shield tank, it doesn't matter whether or not that Amar ship neutralized your cap to zero. But if they apply more DPS than your shield can regain passively, you become super vulnerable. So you try to avoid boats with high alpha strike. Kaldari Ewar is my favorite kind, ECM jamming. And if you want to spread salt and rage throughout the galaxy, ECM is king. You hit the jammer, if your jam strength is strong enough against the enemy ship, they become unable to target or use targeted modules. At all. Not on you, not on your logistics buddy, not at all. They just have to wait while the world happens around them. It's glorious. Now there's ways around it, drones don't care because they target independently and auto-lock missiles can fire without needing a lock, so it's only OP in the eyes of pilots who haven't bothered to learn to get around it. To sum up, Kaldari are missile-focused, shield-focused, and look like G.I. Joes in space. Not the most elegant ships, but certainly the most visually entertaining to fly. Now, Galente are my home faction. When I first started playing, I started Galente, and even though I fly all kinds of ships now, Galente Space will always be my hometown. 
For offense, Galente specialize in drones. Yes, they also do hybrid turrets as traditional guns, which are well-balanced and effective, but drones are the Galente's hallmark. With ship bonuses and increased drone bay, Galente can bring a terrifying amount of firepower to the field that must be dealt with bit by bit. So as long as your drones stay within control range, you're free to do whatever you like. This can lead to super tanked armor boats who only need to focus on repping, or the mother of all AFK mission running boats, the Dominics. The counterbalance here is that drones are squishy and brainless, and if you need to peace out of a fight, you either need to wait for your drones to fly back to you or warp off grid and leave them like pinata candy. Galente tanking is interesting because while they focus on armor tanking, many ships do well with shield tanking. And it's a common practice for certain PvP engagements actually to hull tank. Mostly though, just follow what the ship bonuses suggest and you'll be in great shape. Galente E-War is remote sensor damping, which can lower the targeting range and targeting speed of an enemy ship. This is great for countering long range boats that suddenly have to move way in or run away or make targeting take forever to lock onto you or your drones, which increases the life expectancy of both. This kind of E-War isn't much good for solo content or PvE, but a Mollus in a PvP fleet is often the prom queen, and all the boats will primary you and try to kill you as fast as possible. To summarize Galente, go-go drone boats, ugly and green, always a strong choice for any aspect of EVE Online. Lastly, we have the Minmatar, who are renowned for having the most hardcore fan base and flying literal rust bucket scrap heaps. Hot dang are they fast, though! Minmatar's primary weapons are projectile turrets, short range being auto cannons and long range being the good old artillery! The name of the game is Huge Alpha at Ridiculous Range, and as you move up in ship size, you'll start doing simply disgusting alpha strikes from the next system over. You'll also spend a lot of downtime reloading to balance it all out, but reload time doesn't matter if you only gotta hit them once. Minmatar also use missiles, but to a much lesser extent. For defense, the game text reads they balance armor and shields with speed, but that's a little misleading. Min boats are fast, crazy fast, and crazy agile. They utilize this paired with comparatively small signature radius to move faster than enemy guns can optimally track. It really is an exciting and high energy way to play and can be very hard to counter in the wrong circumstances. Minmatar E-War is also interesting because it doesn't make the target worse, it just makes them easier to hit with target painters. Target painters increase the target's signature radius, making them easier to hit. This is a huge force multiplier because it's not relegated to just you. Anyone shooting at the painted target will be able to hit them easier. So if your fleet is doing PvE and nuking primaries off the field, or if your fleet is doing PvP and nuking primaries off the field, you are rapidly increasing everyone's DPS, and that's a quick way to be everyone's best friend. If you're okay with flying boats that look like sheet metal welded to antenna towers, and you can't help but shout loudly when someone mentions your favorite things, you will love playing Minmatar. I hope after all this you have a general idea of what each faction can do, and I'll put out some videos on specific factions so we can dig a little deeper. But for now, just remember, have fun. If you have fun shooting lasers, go have fun. If you have fun commanding drone minions like I do, go have fun. Don't get lost in the unending spiral of efficiency and percentage comparisons and extreme niche fits. Don't listen to the bitter vets. Fly what you like. EVE is an incredible and elegantly balanced game. Go enjoy it, and until the next video, Rolling Thunder!